In this video, we're going to cover the basics of the Arduino Uno microcontroller. We'll cover how and where to download the software. We'll go over some of the basics that you'll need to know. And then we'll write a little program to blink an LED. So to get started, I'm using the Uno Ultimate Microcontroller Pack. Uh, you can get it from all sorts of places. I just got mine from Maker Shed. Um, one thing that doesn't come with it that you will need um, is a USB-A to USB-B plug. Um, and then, so, first thing you'll do is you'll navigate to the Arduino.cc website and download the software, depending on what operating system you're using. Download that. It comes in a little zip file. You can open it up, put it wherever you want it. Um, I've already have it downloaded. So, what we'll do is we'll open it up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our program is associated with the board that we're using. We're going to go to Tools, come down to Board, and in my case, it's the Arduino Uno. You select it and then you're ready to write your program. Um, so it's always a good idea to comment out different information that um, kind of explains what you're doing. Uh, that way later on when you come back and look at your code it helps you debug it or you know figure out what you're thinking whenever you're writing it. Uh, just makes it easier to understand. The way you do that is for a single line for a single line comment you do two forward slashes like this and then for a multiple line comment you do it with a forward slash and asterisk multiple line comments and then close it with an asterisk forward slash uh, we'll go ahead and call this uh, my first program I know it's deep um, and then what you're going to want to do is at the top of your programs you usually want to set all your variables um, and the, the way you're going to do that for this one is you're going to set an integer uh, we're going to call it LED pin uh, it's case sensitive so make sure whenever you write it later on in the program you capitalize that P um, you can put you can write anything in that you want I'm just using LED pin as a descriptor um, and all the sketches or programs in Arduino use two methods the first one is void setup and you the format for it is like this and the second one is void loop not loops loop And in the void setup, what it does is it runs one time and initializes um, what the pins are going to do. So what we want to do, we want to make digital pin number 13, we want to set it as an output. So we're going to be outputting information to it. We want it to blink on and off. So the way we do that, we use the command pin mode to set pin number 13, or as our variable states, LED pin, and we want to set it as an output, all caps. And then you always want to terminate your lines with a semicolon. And that's all you need for the setup. And so for the void loop, what it does is it just loops, like it says, it just runs over and over and over again until you shut it off until you disconnect power to it um, and what we're going to do we're going to set we're going to set the LED pin number 13 to on and off and the way we do that we're going to write digital write capital W write LED pin high and high is the same thing as on in the Arduino and then we want it to delay 1000 milliseconds 
which is just one second. And then we want it to turn off. And so we'll do digital right. LED pin low. And that just turns it off. We want to delay a second again before it goes back to the top. And that's it. So what it's going to do is it's going to turn the light on, wait a second, turn the light off, wait another second, and then loop back. And then turn it on, wait, turn it off, wait, and that's it. So then you're going to want to verify by using this button here. And it runs through and makes sure there's no errors in your code. And then the next thing, once you have your USB hooked up to your Arduino and your your light is connected, all you do, or your LED is connected to pin 13, um, all you do is hit upload. And then you got it. Okay, so here we have all we need to make this program run. We got the um, LED, the board, and the USB. And for the LED, you can see that there's two leads. One's longer than the other one. The longer one is positive, and of course the shorter is negative. The positive lead is going to go into digital pin 13, and then the negative is going to go into ground. So we'll do that. Like so. You can see it. And then all we have to do now is plug in our USB and then upload our program. There, just reset and now the program is running. One second on, one off, one on, one off, and it loops. And there you have it.